You have gained the lead. An ostentatious display. What do you think of the intro? It's a brand new intro, and more importantly, a bit of a tidbit for you there, kiddies. When you're old like me and you're up against your young'uns, always go for the you know active camo. Helps with those assassinations and the grenades, and go be careful like you saw in the end there. So, letting it know, I, I, look, the camera might seem a little bit off kilter because I can't seem to get up 100% level. Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the new intro. And I'm using a new lens, it's a much longer, bigger lens, so you could see me up close and rather sexy, or if it's more clear or all the clarity. Just, you know what, let me know what you think of the video in general in the comment section down below. But, as the title says, parents and mainstream media, I should mean, stop blaming video games. Now, it's going along the boards of all sorts of things, and I know I'm a bit late and I'm behind the eight ball, but excuse the dog, she's just been a right pain in the butt at the moment, but you know, I can only control so many things at a time. It's the stuff, and I don't like Champchong's video in there, really. Never work with dogs and kids, they say. This is the reason why, if you can see her, she's all right. Yeah, love you, chill. Now, excuse the dog. Hello, Ruckus. Let's talk about the whole Fortnite scenario and parents blaming Fortnite and video games on violence in general. So, of course, the last unfortunate shooting in America, the school shooting, they blame video games instead of gun control and mental health. And now the other big concern is parents are worried about Fortnite and how it's taking over. And so the current affair have done a big study on it and they have all sorts of experts on morning shows here in our mainstream media. And it just seems to be a general thing if it's too hard bass and it's a bit strange where kids will blame video games. Well, here's a bit of a tip here for you people. You can actually put... Look, I, I, I don't get it. They never go into the fact that it's never been proven that violent game, video games make you more violent. They can be addictive, I will not deny that. But parents need to parent a bit better. I know it sounds harsh for people People say, well, but you're not a parent, you can't say that. Well, I can if my hobby is being attacked because of some people judging. Now... Classic example is, oh, you know, my son plays video games for hours on end. Instead of time limit on the Xbox or the PlayStation 4, you can do it on both. Particularly the Xbox One, I know you can definitely do it in the settings. Put a mature age settings on it. There are things in there to reduce the time being played on video games. Or, don't let your kid play the video game. You know, sit down and communicate with your kids. Sit down there and communicate with your kids and say you're allowed this time if you do your homework. Spend a day where you don't play video games. Make sure the family communicate with one another. You know, it, it stuns me that these parents, it seems to me, they let their kids play video games and when things don't work out, they blame them. They blame the video games and not themselves. And I can understand it's tough, particularly here in Sydney. A lot of parents, a lot of parents are bloody working two jobs. So they go with that slightly easy option of getting their kids on the screen. But if you're going to go down that avenue, don't blame the video games if the kid gets angry or is lacking in school or you think the game's violent. Get involved with them. Talk to them about why they're playing that video game. Do they enjoy it? Or get them playing a sport. You might have to take a pay cut and spend more time with your kids. There's the answer there. Yeah, This is the thing. I know, I know it's coming across quite being harsh here and there, but I'm sick to death of video games being blamed for shootings. For violence, it's always video games. Video games and the mini jump on it. Oh, it's because of games like Fortnite that make them want to be violent. Nah, man. Gamers are too busy playing the game to go out and be violent. Generally, 90% of us are like that. And I'm sick to death of it. And the mini just don't seem to have a clue. So, current affair said you're playing against your mates and you're, you're bumping it off, aren't you? When he's talking to his kid playing Fortnite, he goes, well, well, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, no, he probably wants to do it in his real life. It's like the Hunger Game style game. Well, you didn't complain about them watching the Hunger Games style movie, so why are you complaining about them the Hunger style game? And then they went to a parent saying, oh look, I'll make sure they do their homework and everything, then they get on the video games. To get around it, parents, make sure you put the video games in the living room so you can keep an eye on what your kids are playing. And monitor how long they're playing it. When they're teenagers, don't let them have Xbox or computer games in their room. 
if you're going to be brutally, if I'm going to be brutally honest with you. But don't blame video games. It's never been proven that video games make anybody more violent. And I'm sick to death for parents and the media and mainstream and generally everybody say, oh, it's because of the video games. It's not. It's a good combination of lack of parenting, lack of support, and a big case of mental health. Oh, and the fact that they can go and get a fucking gun under the drop of the hat in these countries and start shooting. That would be, you know, just saying, that, that would be the things to look at first. But oh no, oh no, good old Trumpy. Went out there, so we're going to look at violent video games in Hollywood. He didn't mention movies anymore, and the Hollywood and the video game industry wanted to go and meet him. And of course, they showed you Grand Theft Auto, Modern Warfare 2, you know, the one where they had the right. They didn't even put in the fact that you didn't have to play that level in the game where you're at the airport, no Russians. They didn't put that in. And, you know, they didn't put in the fact that you can take gore out of some of these games anyway, or you can put an age restriction on your console to start with. So if little Johnny even gets Grand Theft Auto, Little Johnny can't play it. Because the one thing I will mention here, peeps, is everybody bet jumps in the bandwagon, particularly in this country, about video games. Is The video game industry industry in Australia, particularly EB Games, the one good thing they did was, was fight for the R18 rating on video games, right? It's because lobby groups didn't like certain games, I couldn't play these games. They weren't even approved or even looked at in Australia. Uh, Alien vs. Predator was a classic example. And I'll never forget Sega's response to it. They said, oh, could you take a couple of the violent scenes out of it? And Sega said, no, that's your own country's fault for not putting in proper restrictions to deal with these type of video games. And you're not supporting Australian jobs. Because back in those days, PS3 didn't have region lock or nation lock or whatever. So you could order the game online overseas and you can play it on PS3, which a lot of people did. And it means EB were losing potential sales and even jobs because of that. But they've done that. EB Games have done it. And they also, I've seen it, I cannot believe it. I've seen it in a shop and they will not sell a Modern Warfare game or any Call of Duty game to a 15 year old even when their parents are right next to them. Hasn't worked out the parents could buy it for the kids and save the issue. But EB Games have stood there and I've seen staff cop abuse for doing this. They've taken responsibility. They've, they've made it easier for the government and they said, hey, there's an issue here. We can deal with it. The video game industry and EB Games did that. It's one of the really good things they did and still do to this day and stick by let's not talk about gambling shall we oh no no we won't talk about online gambling how anybody can do that on a mobile device from any age as long as you've got a mobile phone you can gamble yeah no 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 nobody talks about that nobody talks about the pressuring and they just blame it on video games because they don't understand and it drives me out the wall and i keep on saying this to people and this is what i love the one quote from Mark Twain, now I don't know much about Mark Twain, but I love what he had to say about censorship. He said, censorship is pretty stupid. It's like saying I can't have a steak because a child can't eat it. And it's true. So I do have a bit of a voice and opinion when parents say video games should be restricted or non-video games at all, and games like Fortnite should be banned. Now I want to have the choice of playing the game or not. I don't. Really don't. It's for free. I don't play it much at all. But then there's going to be PUBG. It's just the precedent. Next is going to be... Gears of War 4, which actually could be a bad thing. I mean, there's a separate video in itself. The Coalition can have a go at us on that in itself. But the mainstream media jump on the bandwagon because they point fingers at because majority of gamers don't want to argue back. And I look at it on Facebook and I see these stories. I'll link Champ Chalk's video in the description. It's actually pretty darn good. He really gets into it. And he's just like, what are they on about? The current affair. And it's just like, and one lady was like, oh yeah, they can use any weapons that can kill people, pick hammers and so forth. It doesn't go into the fact they're talking about building. I don't know if you can see it or but she just moved. Building. It doesn't talk in the fact about, you know, it's about exercise for the brain. It's better than what, fuck me. You know what? Excuse the language, but they blame, blame video games, but they look at the fact that things like how about this Bachelors in Paradise or Married at First Sight that really, really take the piss out of real life issues about finding somebody? These absolutely drop their gorgeous people, which are thick as two short planks, put together and, sh and think they're going to get married straight away. And people just love watching that shit? I'd rather have my kid playing Minecraft or Gears of War 4, God forbid, on lag than watching that shit. I had to watch an episode of it the other day with my girlfriend. I mean, they said love is like a battlefield, but that's uncalled for, that shit. I mean, Paradise, Bachelor of Paradise Island, whatever. My God, I'm sitting there going, fuck me, these people are fucking useless. Good to look at, but even then they're plastic. But no, we won't touch on that. 
We won't touch on the violence that they can see straight off the bat or the unrealistic things and the, the bullshit media and we won't talk about the frosty fruits and we won't look in the whole heart of the thing about the diets and the sugar the amount of kids have or the salt and the lack of sport they're doing. Nope, we'll blame video games and all of that. Yes, video games have a lot to answer for here and there, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the parents, the parent, and the media to stick to the news and what they're good at, and not about video games. It really is. It just drives out the wall. And I think the media are doing this because they're a bit scared, because look at Twitch. A lot of people rather watch Ninja play Fortnite than watch the news or other mainstream program with ads and bullshit. I mean, they even bring back fucking Roseanne. Like, TV is boring. It's... it's it's depressing talking about it. I'm getting depressed to talk about it. So, look, if you are a parent and you have got kids, I'd like to hear your feedback about it. Do you play the game with them? There's nothing wrong with that. Do you monitor what they play? Do you play sports with them? I think that's a great thing to do because I know a lot of my subs are parents. I know Stubbs has just become a parent himself, so I'd be interested to see what he's got to say about it. Stubbs, don't show your kid this video. Years down the track even, man. It's going to be quite disturbing. But I'm just saying, all these people, I want to know what your feedback is. I want to know if I'm being out of line by saying this, or you think I'm well in my rights. Now, next video you're going to see will be hopefully Sea of Thieves. <clears throat> Try to record that on Saturday. Have it up for you by the week. End of the week. There's a great Halo 5 one with Chi and I. And then there will be a couple of other videos here discussing different things. Tell me what you would like to see. But uh, definitely tell me what you think of the new intro. What your thoughts are on the whole media having got Fortnite or video games under the blame. Don't listen to Trump. It's a pretty stupid statement. He's been paid by the National Gun Lobby over there. And that's an American issue. But I don't like the fact he's having got video games. Because they generate a lot of money and wealth for America. More than I think he realises. <clears throat> In this country they do. But I think it is more... Parents need to get more educated, more involved before they buy a console. And really think about it. Nintendo Switch. I mean, they even did a story saying Zelda is a bad influence on kids. Zelda? Like, fuck me. It, and that's what blows my mind, man, going the whole YouTube thing. Parents are happy for their kids to watch The Poor Brothers. And then they blame video games. Like, I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon, but The Poor Brothers are nothing but self spoiled brats, egomaniacs, and the biggest disrespectful douchebaggers on the planet. And kids love them. So, parents. Monitor what your kids watch on YouTube. Um, it is sad what happened to YouTube the other day. I'm not going to mention too much about that. Yes, it, it's quite sad, but that's another issue going back in the guns as well. But frag and tab, a good day. You know, you tell me what you think of this video. If you liked the video, please smack the like button. If you haven't subbed, please sub. There'll be definitely more Halo. I'm doing the grind on that. More videos to come. But tell me what you think. Do you agree with me that parents should stop blaming video games and start looking more at themselves and how they raise their kids? Or do you think... They should ban video games with the kids up until the age of 16, 17 to relieve a bit of the stress with studying. Or you think they should just have a little bit or not. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down, comment section down below. Particularly parents as well. I understand there's peer group pressure, but you can always say no, you are the parent. And yes, there are age restrictions and settings you can put on both consoles. I believe the Xbox One is slightly easier than the PlayStation 4. They don't want to advertise it because they want your kids to be able to play these games. They want to get money out of it. I'm not saying they're complete angels, but there is a way you can put locks on them. There's a time durability. There's social lock on you can put on them. And there is definitely gore or certain material that kids can't watch or play through these consoles. It's a great feature. If you want me to do a video on how to find it and check it, let me know in the comments section down below. I'll do endeavor to do it myself. But as always, frag and tab. Good days, you know. You're gonna catch your mofos on the battlefield. Oh yeah, and before I go, not this weekend, but the following weekend, the Halo World Championships. You mofos better tune into that. That's gonna go off like two frog and half a sock. Catch you later.